Hi, I'm Paul Feierisen, and I'm an inspector with Champion Real Estate Inspections. And this afternoon, what we're going to talk about is how to take care of your water heater. It's important to flush out your water heater at least once a year because if not, the residue that comes into with the water can build up over time. And when it builds up over time, the transfer of heat from the burner to the water is impeded. It gets in the way and it doesn't transfer it. And, and eventually, if it gets too thick, it can actually burn out the bottom of the burner. Burner can burn out the bottom of the water tank. So the first step is, is you want to turn the water off to your water heater because you do not want more water coming in while you're actually doing this. It takes a little bit, but it will close. There we go. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to relieve the pressure inside the water tank simply by opening the pressure relief valve. The pressure relief valve, when it's closed, flops around like this and it's very normal. When it is open, it is straight out. So we're going to open it straight out. And you might be able to hear the water pressure going out right now. That's what it's doing, and it's going out this pipe to the outside of the house. Turn off all the water. <laughs> the third thing we're going to do is take a hose, and we're going to attach it to the end of this drain pipe. And that drain valve, if you will, will actually allow the water to go out. Now, I don't have a hose with me today, but if you were to ta attach that, take it to the outside of the house so it can drain out the hose and open up this valve right here and water will start to run out from the tank. Immediately go to the end of the hose and watch it when it comes out. If your water heater has never been cleaned, if you will, or flushed out, the water will come out brown. And it'll get lighter and it'll get lighter then all of a sudden just like that it'll get crystal clear and when it's crystal clear that means that the residue is gone immediately come back and reverse the steps the first thing is, is close the valve completely so water is not running out of the tank the second thing is to push down on the pressure relief valve and tap it with something just a little bit so it reseats right and then the third thing is is don't forget to turn on the water back into the tank. This tank holds 40 gallons. Many tanks hold 50 gallons. Doesn't really matter. But in that whole process, you'll probably only let about three gallons of water go through the hose. All right? You never want to empty out your tank completely because if you do, the burner sensor will turn it on, itself on, thinking that the air is cold water and it will try to heat the air and burn out the bottom of the tank. Uh, I was trained to ASHI standards and uh, I have approximately 12 years of experience in a variety of different types of uh, positions doing inspections or ma managing inspections for properties. 